गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हरे कृष्णा सो आई वुड लाइक टू नो हु ऑल आर प्रेजेंट हियर यू मे ग्रीट बैक बेस्ड ऑन योर ओन फेथ जय माता दी जय माँ भवानी वॉट एवर माई सेल्फ शुभम एंड दिस सेकेंड सेशन इन दिस मैराथन फॉर ट्वेल्थ मैथ्स बोर्ड्स सो इन फर्स्ट सेशन आई हैड टेकन प्रोबेबिलिटी मैट्राइस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस एंड नाउ इंटीग्रल्स एंड एप्लीकेशंस एंड आई टी एफ फॉर दिस सेशन एंड इन अपकमिंग सेशन विच इज टुमारो एट इलेवन ए एम दीज आर द टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर और राइट दैट्स मूव अड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम integrals and applications total weightage is 19 marks and let's start with our first question i would like you to solve as we move uh as we move ahead okay that would be a nice practice for you all right try this question out quick this what can be done here first of all the sin 2x i can split as 2 sin x cos x and sin x will come common so this will become 1 minus 2 cos x dx now what can i do here cos x is there here sin x is there i can multiply sin x in numerator and denominator and this sin square x i can convert in 1 minus good abhijit multiply and divide by sin i can write sin square x as 1 minus cos square x that's it then cos x we can take as t and minus sin x dx will become dt so this basically becomes One minus cos square x. I can write as one plus cos x. One minus cos x, and one minus two cos x is the remaining term. So cos x is if I take as t, that means minus sin x dx will become dt. So what will it become? Minus integration. dt 1 plus t 1 minus t 1 minus 2t right so now i can apply partial fractions so basically 1 by 1 plus t 1 minus t One minus t and one minus two t. I can write as a by one minus t plus b by one plus t plus c by one minus two t. Or let's have this plus and this as minus for consistency sake. So basically, one is equal to a times one minus t. One minus two t plus b times one plus t one minus two t plus c times one minus t square. Now I can use values. I can put values of t as one and minus one and half to get respective values of a, b, c. If I put t as one. So this becomes zero. I get b equal to minus half. If I put t as minus one, this and this becomes zero. I get a equal to one by six. And similarly, I will get c when I put t equal to half, four by three. 
right so my integration turns out to be a by 1 plus t a is 1 by 6 so integration will be 1 by 6 log 1 plus t and whole minus is also there so this needs to be taken care this minus is there all right and similarly again log terms will come so this becomes plus half or rather minus half this will come so simple integration it is 1 minus t and 4 by 3 so it becomes 4 by 6 plus 4 by 6 log 1 minus 2t hope you are able to see so minus will come because minus 2 is there so this will be minus so basically my answer is you can see and t is my cos x so answer all right so you can check the answer it is minus minus plus so this is what we have got minus minus plus that's it so method is important answer you can find out this problem next okay leave simplification that's a nice thing so we can just discuss the idea we need not solve the whole thing all right and in case uh, uh, further clarification is required you do let me know this indefinite integral if i have to solve yeah come on any idea or give only idea yeah, that's all right this is not sine to phi this is okay sine square phi okay so that's it uh, abhijit singh has rightly said sine square phi i'll write as one minus cos square phi that's it so this becomes sin phi d phi divided by under root 1 minus cos square phi so this becomes 4 minus 4 plus 2 cos phi minus cos square phi right so again cos phi i'll take as t so minus sin phi d phi will become dt so basically it will be dt by under root 5 minus t minus 1 whole square so this basically is minus sin inverse t minus 1 by root 5 plus c so this is my answer t is cos phi did you get it so these questions what we are discussing This is a 4 mark, previous one was also a 4 mark. So total 19 marks are there for this integral and applications. So you can expect one 6 mark question, three 4 mark question and one 1 mark question. All right. All right. Next question. Come on. This is definite integral. You can give answers. Solve quickly try to not make any calculation mistake quick i am also writing simultaneously so that we don't waste time so basically there are two functions i can see or i can consider 2x by 1 plus cos square x and 2x sin x by 1 plus cos square x so 2x by 1 plus cos square x is odd function so so while integrating from minus pi to pi it will cancel out so basically this becomes 2 times 0 to pi 2x sin x 
डिवाइड बाय वन प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स टी एक्स और राइट सो वॉट कैन आई डू फोर इंटीग्रेशन दिस फाइव बाई टू दिस बिकम्स टू टू या फोर इफ यू अप्लाई दिस थिंग जीरो टू टू ए एफ एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू ए एफ एक्स प्लस एफ टू ए माइनस एक्स डी एक्स दिस कैन बी यूज ऑल राइट सो यूजिंग द सेम वॉट विल आई गेट आई गेट साइन एक्स बाय वन माइनस कॉस स्क्वायर ओ सॉरी वन प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स डी एक्स राइट Yeah, answer is pi square. Pravin Goel is saying. Yeah, I also think so. It should be pi square. So, cos x. If I take as t, what will it become? Minus sin x dx will become dt. So basically, it will turn out to be four pi dt by one plus t square, or rather minus dt by one plus t square. So that will be minus tan inverse t. माइनस टेन इनवर्स टी विल बी वॉट कॉस एक्स एक्स बींग जीरो टू पाई बाय टू राइट सो वेन एक्स इज पाई बाय टू दिस इज जीरो दिस इज जीरो एंड वेन एक्स इज जीरो दिस इज वन सो दिस इज बिकम्स पाई बाय फोर दिस बिकम्स पाई बाय फोर सो आंसर इज पाई स्क्वायर दिस इज द आंसर ऑल राइट प्रवर गोयल हैज गॉट इट राइट नाइस अभिजीत सिंह इट इज नॉट जीरो द ओनली फर्स्ट पार्ट इज जीरो इफ आई सी इट एज सम ऑफ टू फंक्शन टू एक्स बाय वन प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स दैट वुड एंड अप बींग जीरो बट टू एक्स साइन एक्स डिवाइड बाय वन प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स दैट इज नॉट जीरो एज वी हैव सीन ऑल राइट सो दिस इज द टिपिकल वे यू शुड राइट इन बोर्ड्स This is also a four mark typically. All right, yeah. Pi square is the answer. Now, in boards, this kind of question also comes. We have to evaluate this definite integral as limit of sums. So, what is meant by limit of sums? Pi broke into pi by two rather than pi. Yeah, Pranit. Uh, the other way also it can be done. I think in solution it is the other way round. They have gone throughout using pi. So that means you have two solutions. One with the method I have used, and one with this other method, which anyway would be shared with you, as I have been told. All right. So how do we do it? I think it. 26 by 3 prajyot all right answer can be derived directly but uh, we have to do it using limit of sums method so i'll just uh, illustrate this for you so generally when we have to find area so this whole area i i want to find what will i do as a limit of sums i'll take this rectangle and find its area then this rectangle and find its area so this is 0 h 2 h so and so forth n minus 1 h so total no this becomes n h this becomes n h 2h so basically i'll find out areas of these rectangles all right so as h tends to 
I'll essentially get the area below this curve. So I have divided this which is 0 to 2 into n rectangles of width h. Alright. So that means n h equal to 2. 2 minus 0. 2. Alright. And basically what I am saying is this integral represents the area below this curve which can be expressed as limit h tending to 0 sum of all these rectangles. So sum of these rectangles will be what? Width multiplied by height. So width is h common to all and height is what? This h if I put here so I'll get the height if I put 2h I'll get this height all right or rather we are making below we can make a rectangles above also or below also so here if I put 0 I'll get this height if I put h I'll get this height if I put 2h I'll get height of next rectangle so basically if I put 0 I'll get height as 3 next if I put h I'll get height as h square plus 3 next if I put 2h I'll get height as 2 square h square plus 3 plus so and so forth there are n such rectangles so last uh, rectangle will have height as n minus 1 h uh, n minus 1 whole square h square plus 3 this will be the height of last rectangle right so basically it boils down to solving this limit limit h tending to 0 3 has come n times so this becomes h 3n plus h square if I take common so this is basically 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus so and so forth plus n minus 1 whole square so basically this will be sum of first uh, sum of squares of first n minus 1 natural numbers so this becomes n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 into 2 times n minus 1 plus 1 so this becomes 2n minus 1 by 6 sequence and progressions you must have learned this thing so basically it is oops limit h tending to 0 6nh sorry 3nh 3nh plus h cube so 1 1 h i am putting inside so this becomes nh minus 1 nh 2 nh minus 1 divided by 6 so basically what i have done h cube it is becoming so 1 h i have put here 1 h here and 1 h here okay so this will be h this will be h all right so now i know that nh is equal to 2 so i'll use that so limit h tending to 0 nh is 2 so it becomes 6 plus 2 minus h into 2 into 4 minus h divided by 6 when limit h tends to 0 my area will be 6 plus 8 by 3 all right so this becomes 26 by 3 which is the answer so when it is asked that we have to use this method limit of sums so this is how we have to proceed all right sunakshi mishra yeah 26 by 3 is right answer the point is this is the way that we are supposed to use all right 2 by n sir you should be teaching critical problems these which you are teaching are already in all books all right so this is basically marathon for boards so i am taking relevant questions all right so this is the typical way you have to answer this will be shared with you all right find area of region bounded 
by the y axis y equal to cos x and y equal to sin x where x is 0 to pi by 2 very easy four mark question typical it's so simple y axis cos x sin x 0 to pi by 2 and this is the area that we have to find out so this is basically what integral cos x minus sin x cos x minus sin x dx 0 to this will be what pi by 4 very simple i am not going to solve it further it's very simple root 2 minus 1 yeah Srinivasan raman has correctly answered Using properties of integral, solve this. Come on, definite integral. Repeat, Sumit, master. See, uh, we have to find area of this region. So what I have done is, I am considering these strips, vertical strips. So cos x minus sin x, dx, this is dx. I am integrating from 0 to pi by 4. I hope it's clear. Teach hard sums on integration, sir. Like that. Alright. Try this out. Tej Trivedi ji. Try this out. Yeah? How would you do it? Again, I'll use this same thing. 0 to 2a fx dx is equal to integration 0 to a fx plus f 2a minus x dx all right so similarly what will i get i'll get 0 to pi by 2 pi dx by 1 plus sin x so within this indef uh, definite integral standard indefinite uh, integral problems are also coming automatically all right this is basically dx here all right so how do we proceed so uh, ojis chaurasia and they have answered pi pi is the answer yeah possibly it is uh, generally we proceed this when sin x linear equation or linear expression of sin x cos x comes in denominator we go to 10 x by 2 all right so i'll convert sin x to 10 x by 2 so basically it will become 0 to pi by 2 sec square x by 2 half times so 2 times divided by this will become 1 plus tan square x by 2 plus 2 tan x by 2 dx all right so tan x by 2 now i can take as t and solve the problem since many have already got supposedly the right answer i'll we'll check and now this can be solved further so i am not simplifying it further all right so this is one way you take tan x by 2 as t so this will become what 2 pi integration 0 to 1 because tan x by 2 is there 0 to 1 dt by t plus 1 whole square all right so now it's simple you can solve it answer turns out to be pi so congratulations to all those who have got it now i think this is a good question you try this out those who are looking for tough questions try this out study with abhinav paper leak ho gaya. <laughs> all right amazing comments try this out uh, integration e to the power x sin 4x minus 4 divided by 1 minus cos 4x dx
सर हाय व्हाट्स योर नेम माय सेल्फ शुभम झवर तुषार नकपाल ओके लेट्स फोकस हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल ट्राई टू सिंपलीफाई दिस एंड लुक फॉर नून पैटर्न्स लाइक हियर इन दिस केस यू वुड इवेंचुअली गेट ई टू द पार एक्स एफ एक्स प्लस एफ प्राइम एक्स सो दिस प्रॉपर्टी या सुमित मास्टर हैज राइटली पॉइंटेड आउट ऑल राइट सो दिस बिकम्स ई टू द पार एक्स साइन फोर एक्स माइनस फोर विल बी वॉट टू साइन टू एक्स कॉस टू एक्स माइनस फोर डिवाइड बाय दिस आई कैन राइट एस टू साइन स्क्वायर टू एक्स टी एक्स सो बेसिकली इट इज वॉट इंटीग्रेशन ई टू द पार एक्स दिस इज कॉट टू एक्स माइनस टू कॉस एक्स स्क्वायर टू एक्स dx. So now this is f x, and this is f prime x. So my answer will be what? E to the power x cot 2x plus c. Done. Right? Ankur Mac, you got it right. Try this question out. This is again a standard format. What do we generally do when sin 2x come? That is to be learned here. Good, Shreyas Sridharan, you got it right. So generally, what do we do here? About sin x plus cos x is coming. so below sin 2x i'll write in terms of sin x minus cos x right so if i take sin x minus cos x as t so this becomes cos x plus sin x dx equal to dt and sin 2x i can write as 1 minus sin x minus cos x whole square so this becomes t square so my answer uh my next step would be at pi by 6 the value of t and at pi by 3 the value of t what would it be at pi by 6 it would be 1 minus root 3 by 2 and at pi by 3 root 3 minus 1 by 2 so this becomes dt by under root 1 minus t square so basically this is sin inverse t 1 minus root 3 by 2 root 3 minus 1 by 2 if you are finding these easy then you have done you already have a nice preparation for upcoming boards repeat sir what part to repeat oh okay again tushar nakpal please how sin 2x converted see uh, first of all i tried to create dt above All right. I consider t such that dt is created above. So sine x plus cos x is there. So sine two x I'll write in terms of sine x minus cos x. Why? Because uh, derivative of it um, will be sine x plus cos x dx equal to dt. All right. So dt gets created above. All right. And sine two x I can write as one minus sine x minus cos x ka whole square. Right. Because sine square x plus cos square x is one, which will cancel this one. And minus sine two x with minus will give me sine two x. Tushar Nakpal. All right. I hope you got it. So let's move ahead. You, you can put values and get the answer. That's not a big deal. All right. So yeah, perhaps last question in our integrals and applications. find the area of the region aman kumar galat hai what is galat sir itf question will be there today no it was covered already yeah na yeah itf is there today yeah itf is there today anyway we'll see what comes next try this out this is again a 6 mark standard question Involving circle and parabola, and I'll try to create 
circle for you if I can properly all right so all right so this is kind of circle here maybe I can shift it cool so uh, parabola will be something like this all right so what area do i want less than equal to less than equal to this is the area that i want right so now uh, I need to find out these two points all right so how to find out these two points these are the intersection of two curves y square equal to 6 ax x square plus y square equal to 16 a square so I'll solve these two equations to get the two points so this will be x square y square I can replace as 6 ax equal to 16 a square you shift it here you can see the solutions using some of roots and product of roots x is turning out to be sum is minus 6a so minus 8a and 2a this is basically this is basically this all right so x cannot be minus 8a why because this equation would not get satisfied then all right and a is of course positive otherwise meaning of the question would be lost x is 2a so y would be what put it anywhere in these two equations y would be 2 root 3 so plus minus 2 root 3a all right so now what can i do i can take this type of portion and i, I can integrate it all right so this x minus this curves x integrated over y equal to minus 2 root 3a to y equal to plus 2 root 3a so this will be basically this is this is what x equal to under root 16a square minus y square positive x is positive that's why minus we have not taken we have taken plus and this is x equal to y square by 6a all right so what will i what will my integration be integration minus 2 root 3a to 2 root 3a under root 16a square minus y square under root 16a square minus y square minus y square by 6a y square by 6a dy all right done <coughs> so now this whole expression is even function so this will become two times 0 to 2 root 3a under root 16a square minus y square minus y square by 6a d1 all right so now these are standard uh, we use the standard results here so this becomes 2 this is what y by 2 under root 16a square minus y square plus 16a square by 2 sine inverse y by 4a all right minus y cube by 18a and all right we can put the limits here 0 to 2 root 3a so we can get the answer <coughs> simple all right 
I need not solve it further. This is 0 to 2 root 3a. All right. So here is another solution. Here they have taken strips like this and they have integrated this part, this part, they have added it and multiplied it by 2. So you have two methods. All right. All right. Final answer you can find out because expression I have already given. ITF total 5 marks. So what you can expect is one 1 mark question and one 4 mark question. All right. I am not understanding this question. Can you repeat this question, sir, please? This solution. All right. Yeah, we, I can repeat in short for you. What we have done is I have taken horizontal strip and I have integrated from this point to this point. This. So, so this means x of this curve minus x of this curve integrated of uh, in, integrated from this y to this y all right so this y is what x is 2a y is minus 2 root 3a and this plus 2 root 3a that's it so this curve x is equal to this and this curve x is equal to this simple and we have taken the difference and solved it all right and this is another way which you have been provided solution. They have taken vertical strips. They have found this area, this curve above x-axis, this curve above x-axis and then they have added the two and multiplied by two. Added these two and multiplied by two. All right. So we get the area. All right. Horizontal strips or vertical strips. The important thing is you should not make mistake, calculation mistake. So ITF, 5 marks is the weightage and why 2 times multiplied? Come on, we just uh, did it, Srijan Verma. Because uh, this is there. Oops. Because this is even function, so the limits have been changed to 0 to 2 to 3a and Two times it would become all right so what you can expect is one one mark question and one four mark question five marks is the weightage of this uh, topic idf come on i would like you to solve it and tell me the answer sir y equal to root x ka quick graph bata dijiye abhi now anand y equal to root x x has to be positive it would be like this all right, concave down. Things can be discussed further, but I hope you got it. All right. Solve pi by three. No, no, no. Pi by three is not the answer here. Come on, answer please. Simple question, one mark question. If I say cos inverse, minus 3 by 5 is theta then basically I have been asked sin 2 theta all right sin 2 theta I have been asked and theta lies between pi by 2 to pi because cos inverse some negative value is there so sin theta sin 2 theta is basically what 2 sin theta cos theta so sin theta will be positive in second quadrant what would it be 2 sine of cos inverse minus 3 by 5 will be 4 by 5 and cos will be minus 3 by 5 cos of cos inverse minus 3 by 5 so this becomes minus 24 by 25 and this is the answer all right summer 1 2 3 24 by 25 is not the answer minus times it is Adi Krish you got it right Sonakshi Mishra got it right. Summer 1, 2, 3. Again, same answer you have typed. Anyway, 
सो यू गॉट इट राइट सिंपल क्वेश्चन बट इट कैरीज वन मार्क ऑल राइट ट्राई दिस आउट अ टिपिकल फोर मार्क क्वेश्चन इफ एक्स इज पाई टू थ्री पाई बाय टू वी हैव टू अप्रूव दिस ट्राइट आउट क्विक यू शुड नॉट अंडरस्टूड अभिषेक वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम हियर आई टेक दिस इज थीटा so that means sin to theta i have to evaluate that means 2 sin theta cos theta so since theta would be between pi by 2 to pi because cos inverse and negative number will be having value between these two values so this is second quadrant basically so sin theta has to be positive cos of cos inverse minus 3 by 5 would anyway be minus 3 by 5 right so the catch here is not to take minus 4 by 5 here it is 4 by 5 all right Yeah. So when one plus cos x, one minus cos x, these kind of expression come. So one plus cos x, I'll see as two cos square x by two, and one minus cos x, I'll see as two sine square x by two. All right. Now, since x is between pi to three pi by two, x by two will be between pi by two to three pi by four. so that is second quadrant all right so cos will be negative sin will be positive all right so please explain a bit faster yes i can do that all right so when under root is taken what will happen it will become root 2 minus times cos x by 2 why because cos x by 2 is negative because x by 2 belongs to second quadrant plus root 2 sin x by 2 Because sine x by two is positive, divided by minus root two cos x by two minus root two sine x by two. All right. So now, basically, root two gets cancelled, and it becomes tan inverse one plus or no. Nope. One minus one minus ten x by two divided by one plus ten x by two. So this is basically ten inverse ten pi by four minus x by two. Now important thing is x by two belongs to pi by two to three pi by four pi by two to. 3 pi by 4. So, pi by 4 minus x by 2 will belong to minus pi by 2 to minus pi by 4. Right? So this is fourth quadrant, and the value is minus pi by 2 to minus pi by 4. So tan inverse tan pi by 4 minus x by 2, which belongs to this these values. So my answer will be. Pi by four minus x by two. Why? Because anyway the range of tan inverse is minus pi by two to pi by two, and this is a subset of that range. So I'll straight away take this as the answer. So these kind of reasonings are important for you to get marks in boards. Explicitly you should write. So hence we have proved it. You can see the solutions. You'll get the file. Now perhaps this is the last question of today. How is sine positive? Okay, who is Abhi Ganesh? See, the point is sine x by two is positive. All right, here one minus cos x is what? Two sine square x by two. When I take under root, under root two will be root two. Under root sine square x by two will be sine x by two. Why? Because sine x by two is positive. Because x by two belongs to second quadrant. All right. Similarly, cos x by two is negative. So under root, when I take off one plus cos x, which is under root two cos square x by two, it will become root two times minus cos x by two. Why? Because cos x by two is negative. Or how many classes will be? One class more will be tomorrow morning at eleven o'clock, which I will tell you in the topics towards the end. I will tell you. All right. So solve this question. what do we do in such questions 
यू कैन टाइप एक्स इज फाइव बाय टू नो मौसम शिव हरे कीप ट्राइंग कीप ट्राइंग If we have one plus x square instead of one plus cos x, you are talking to talking about last question. X is two. You are close, but you are wrong. Cos two theta equal to two. कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा बाय टू माय फ्रेंड बाय टू अभिषेक आंसर माइनस टू रॉन्ग एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू फनिया सुंपा यू आर क्लोज बट यू आर रॉन्ग ओके लेट्स सी सो सो मेनी पीपल आर गेटिंग एक्स इक्वल टू टू एंड लेट्स सी व्हाई इज इट रॉन्ग जनरली वी डू इन दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी टेक टेन बोथ द साइड बट द आंसर दैट वी गेट we have to check with the original equation all right that is important aryan singh zero all right zero is not the answer but zero is the number of solutions to this question so you are right in some way all right so i take 10 on both sides so what would it become 10 a plus b formula i, I would use 10 a plus b is 10a plus 10b divided by 1 minus 10a Ten B, all right, and ten on that side would give me minus seven, all right. So if I solve this, this becomes x into x plus one, x into x plus one plus x minus one whole square divided by. This will become x minus x plus one, so it is minus one. 1x will get cancelled and x minus 1, so it becomes 1 minus x basically, equal to minus 7. All right, all right. So this becomes 2x square plus x minus 2x minus x plus 1, equal to 7x minus 7. So basically this is 2x square minus 8x. Plus eight equal to zero. So this is two times. If you see x minus two whole square equal to zero. So basically, I am getting x equal to two. All right. But I have to check this in original question. All right. Original expression. So if I put x equal to two, this becomes tan inverse three. This becomes tan inverse half. So both of these values lie between zero and pi by two. So when they add, it is certainly greater than zero. But right hand side is negative. Hence, there is no solution to it. Rejected because it doesn't satisfy original equation. All right. X is complex number. Yeah, maybe we are talking about real values here. Five. Yeah, no solution. Amit Pandey, you are right. Sir, repeat last step. All right. By this, I infer you want to know this reasoning. I got x equal to two. All right. But this is not my answer. Why? Because it doesn't satisfy the original equation. Formulas step. I have doubt. L to y axis. Okay, I don't know what comments you are putting. See, if I take ten both sides, if this holds, taking ten both sides should also hold. So, <coughs> so when I take ten both sides, I got this equation, and this equation leads me to the value of x equal to two. But x equal to two satisfies this equation. But not this equation. That's why x equal to two is not my answer. It was a four marks work. Yeah, possibly you can get this kind of question for four marks. All right. So thank you. 
हैव अ नाइस डे एंड आई विल शेयर द टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टुमारो ऑलराइट सो इन फर्स्ट सेशन टुडे एट इलेवन एम वी कवर दीज टॉपिक्स प्रॉबेबिलिटी मेट्रेसिस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन In this session, we covered integrals and applications and ITF. And in tomorrow's session, we would be taking some questions from these topics. This was divided based on the polling that students participated in online. So probability, integrals, and applications. These were the most voted topics. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day, and let's meet. at 11 am tomorrow sir which institute you are from i have graduated from iit madras dual degree all right anything else sir aapka naam my name is shubham jhavar all right so have a nice weekend ahead don't worry about exams much try your best and leave the rest to god All right all the best bye thank you